Welcome to another episode of the American Dream, a show that's unscripted, that combats negative media, commercial free. If you get anything out of today's show, it's about dreaming big. Let's start the show right now. We do it in the spirit of going against the grain of the negative media, giving inspiring information, and having people walk away from our show with something of value. You're seeing a disruption in both the real estate and the mortgage space. A lot of people just not willing to put in the work. What video does is that it demands an emotional response. You know what I love about the show? It's totally unscripted. <laughs> So we talk about this show, The American Dream, a big piece of it is how it's a mindset, not a circumstance. I don't know if there's anyone who better illustrates it than a guy named Grant Cardone. Grant Cardone is a guy who came from nothing. He's built a successful empire that sells books, products, coaching, overall just a very inspirational guy. So we're here in Miami and we're sitting in a bank. Now what you don't know is the bank, actually that all this commercial space, Grant just bought it. So we're gonna go meet Grant, we're gonna walk around, show his company culture, get to know his story uh, a little bit better, and then we're gonna go visit his private jet. So this should be a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and let's check this out, follow me. So let me bring you back here, Craig. Uh, okay. uh, so this is a this is our e-commerce right here. We'll do about maybe 40 this Might year. Have to snap a few no, no. shots and everything. And, and so, hey, Ryan Seco, how you doing? Amazing. He, he's a pilot and, and works in the real estate. He's Look moved amazing. from phones to pilot to we're going to raise a billion dollars in cash for real estate deals. So we we bought this building and we're blowing out all the way to that side. I need all the yeah, room in it. Yeah, what's going on, guys? What's going on? Hey, so this, this is the boiler room right here, okay? These guys are making phone calls all day long, cold calls, warm calls, and follow-up calls. Hey, guys, say hi to Craig, will you? That's how we roll, dog. That's how we roll. I'm Kara Kay with the American Dream. I get to meet with Ryan Serhant of Million Dollar Listing. It's an exclusive interview and it's one you won't want to miss. Are you ready to, to cheers to your book and your all your success? Sure. Okay. Are we are we drinking this? Yeah, I'm I mean Are we chugging? I know it? nothing about wine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm Kara Kay, and today I get to speak with Ryan Serhant. He is here in San Diego promoting his book. We are excited to read it. You do so well in real estate, and you know the power of media and TV. Thank you again for being here with us. Thanks for having me. Of course. With so. the wine in the wine room. It couldn't be classier, in my opinion. I know. It's very classy. I should have worn a tie. So I know that you know the importance of TV and media. How important do you think that is in real estate today? I think media is incredibly important in all businesses. I think any business that does anything for marketing in any way, shape, or form is now a media company. I mean, if you're a real estate brokerage, like I am in New York City, we don't build the apartments, we don't build the buildings, we're not really real estate brokers, we're, we're media brokers, right? I find different ways to market my properties via media. And so for me, television has been huge, um, and now we do a lot through the digital space, right? You can see that a lot of networks are going digital, I have a YouTube vlog now, just to try to hit a different, you know, a different viewer base, it's, it's really important. Sure, I think you, of all people, know the importance of getting exposure to listings, which is why you've gotten into TV and media. And now talk about the transition into how important it is to be social as well as on TV. Yeah, I think that if you're a salesperson, right, which is what the book is for, is anybody who sells anything, you, you're really selling yourself, right? It's you're creating a relationship. You sometimes have to talk about the product, Sometimes you have to go into the price, sometimes you have to go into the features. You need to have all that information, but that's, that's what you need to do. That's the job, right? Everything else, especially through social media, especially through different forms of media, is building that relationship passively, right? This you and I talking right now is an active 
communication, building a relationship. Right. But I can hit so many more people through social, right. through YouTube, through LinkedIn articles. People talk about passive income all the time. For salespeople and for a lot of people in our generation, kind of the, you know, the gig generation, we have passive relationships are passive income because those will turn into other sources of work for us down the line and we just don't even know what they are. If you are talking to a realtor who really wants to make it tomorrow and in the future, what, would you, what advice would you give them? I, I am always blown away when I meet new salespeople, especially real estate agents, who post on Instagram once a month who aren't doing anything on YouTube or on Facebook or on Twitter, and they say, well, that's not really me. Well, then, like, then the job isn't really you. Thank you for watching. Link, subscribe, you know what to do. Oh. Like and subscribe, oh. subscribe. You can't sit there and complain about not having business or sit there and complain about how the market's so tough if you're not actively doing things that are under your control. And what's under your control is putting out media. There's so many different places to absorb content these days and so many real places to hit real people to target them directly in your neighborhood, on your block, like that age group. It's all about consistency too, right? That's it's a really, really important word and it takes a long, long time. Like for me, you know, it took me three years before I stopped thinking about quitting real estate every day. It was, it was tough. And same thing for, for social media and all forms of media. Like you have to be consistent with what you put out there all the time and that way people know what to look for. Now, what do you guys think as a team, what does the American dream, I guess, mean to you in your office? It's, it's freedom of choice to be able to own a home if you want, or rent a home if you want, or to be able to have this job or that job or this opportunity or that opportunity without repercussion other than your own expectations and your own stress that you put on yourself. I really do think that everybody has that thing in their stomach that is trying to get them to that next level in their life that they actually can take control of, but not everybody wants it. And you know, that's the one thing I can't teach. Like I can teach a lot in the book about how to find what your motivation is, how to find what's gonna wake you up every day, how to find what's gonna help you make a little bit of extra money every single month, but I can't teach you to want more for yourself. You have to want that on your own. So we're cheers to the American, the American dream. dream yes. Okay, let's do that again. Okay. So it's like for real. Okay, cheers. cheers. All right. To the American dream. Mm. Am I supposed to drink more? No. Okay. How did we do? <laughs> I am infinitely terrible at alcohol. Great just arrived and we're heading to the Aria Hotel where we're going to be going to Impact 18. We've been invited to be panelists at the convention tomorrow where we're going to be talking about digital marketing and how the file group sells real estate through digital marketing media and we're excited to show you how it's all done. Impact 18. Excited to have you here and excited to show you our booth here that we have in the exhibit hall. We have highlighted here our new listing at 2716 Pebble Drive 
And we'd like you just took a virtual tour using AR. AR, absolutely. Yes, so what did you think about the experience? It's incredible. I was walking around, I was looking at a lot of the companies, a lot of them are digital marketing companies. Like what is a real estate company? What is a realtor doing here at a digital at a digital marketing conference, right? right? And then I right. saw the cube, I looked at the AR, and I mean this is the future, right? I mean right. you could be sitting in your kitchen, you can go online, log in with your realtor, and you can go see a house. Exactly. I mean it's incredible. So looking really through cool. and seeing the 360 view and then being able to go into the actual house. Yeah. and see the different rooms. Yeah. I mean, I could see a world where you've got a property that's not even built yet. Right. And you can go to a client and say, here's the plot of land, here's what we're thinking about building on top of it. I come from a very different background than my wife, who is the founder of our company, The File Group, Janelle File. Uh, she's an appraiser on the coast uh, or in Orange County for over 16 years. So her background and knowledge of all the homes up and down the coast were great. Um, I was traveling quite a bit and she looked at me and she said, hey, we have three small kids, we gotta change the game here, I'm tired of you being gone. Let's create something special. Uh, we took the time, the thought, to plan out all the different platforms that we wanted to be able to scale on, to take it from here to here in a very quick time, time frame. Uh, we went out and hired a director of operations to handle all of our back-end work. And then we went out and we, we selected you know, passionate team members that wanted to use these platforms to scale very quickly. If we have the opportunity to represent you, we want to showcase your home at the you know, largest, uh, uh, the best uh, to our ability. And so I think this, these type of things are really helping us uh, grow our brand. Here we are with Sinan Knatsis, who is the founder and chairman of the IMA and the host here at Impact 18. This is an amazing event. Thank you. So tell us about it. Tell oh us. my gosh. You know, like um, in my career, 23 years I've been doing this, I've met some of the greatest people like you and Brandon, and I just thought, why not bring them all together in an event? And our events always have impact. So that's how we came up with the name. And what really impact is, is the cross between organizational leaders like yourself and Brandon and digital marketing. And back when we started the IMA, the internet was just being born. And you look at 20 years later to where it's at, now it's touching every single business that's here, whether you're a technology company, a real estate company. So we have leaders of companies like Amazon, but also startup companies like One Basketball that are converging together around those two things, organizational leadership and tech marketing. So you bring all that together, magic happens. I love it. Okay. Yeah, well, we're super happy to be here. It's awesome. great. It's a great event. And so what did you think about the virtual tour that you I took? I was blown away. Yeah. So I told Brandon when you guys uh, Came, came on board, I said, do something that's gonna engage people. And when he showed me the hologram technology, I was blown away. I didn't know that even existed. But to yeah. see that in a real estate application was super impressive. Yeah. And that's the type of thing that engages and attracts people. And of course, the relationship then closes the deal. So, very proud of your, your success with VR, hologram. And that's the kind of stuff that's gonna be leading the market for the next 10, 20 years. And that's how the file group makes an impact. It was great to see you here in Las Vegas and we can't wait to see you again back in Orange County. We've got some fresh new young talent doing some things that I know you haven't heard before. One, two, three, listen. you grant is that there's a lot of people out there right now and and they're they're preaching bullshit right there's a lot of snake oil salesmen that live online now and i've followed you gotten to know you 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 really live what you talk about i mean 10x isn't just some brand like you're actually someone who invests time energy and capital into growth where, yeah. where does that inspiration come from because it's definitely real man uh, in the beginning uh, years of me being an entrepreneur i was I didn't spend any money, I didn't have any employees, I had a half of an employee, I worked out of my office, I did everything on the cheap. What year was this? This is, uh, I mean, late 90s. Okay. Even, even for the first 20 years though of my career, like if you go back and look at what I was doing, I was a speaker and a consultant on how to grow a business, but I didn't have a business. Okay. And I hated it. Yeah. Because every time I'm talking to a guy about growing a business, when I went back to my hotel that night, I was just selling time. 
Sure. I was the guy you were describing. Why do you feel so much more confident today? I got, I got 115 employees that 30 of them probably will become millionaires. Wow. Um, I'm not Facebook. I'm not Amazon. Like, I'm not doing this on the backs of Wall Street. The, this is this is now it's now real. I'm orchestrating a business. This is all happened in the last eight or nine years. Incredible. Yeah. When when you take the lid off of that's why I'm so passionate about what I talk about because when you take the lid off of um, this idea that you're going to work from home that's so popular today. Yeah. You're going to be a consultant or an advertiser or a marketer from your from your bedroom and you're gonna make millions of dollars, it doesn't matter, you're, you're still not gonna be a business. The online world creates so much opportunity, yeah. but there's also so much phoniness to totally, it, right? Totally. And there's, I'm in the middle of writing a book right now called American Dream 2.0, and it's talking about the digital age, connectivity, but you can't ignore work ethic and real relationships yeah. and yeah. building social yeah. capital. And I yeah. think if you can bring those worlds together, it's probably the greatest opportunity in the history of mankind. I mean, look, at you, you left San Diego to come to Miami to build your business out. You can't, yeah. it's you gotta some point, get here. Yeah. It, you can't do everything on Facebook and Instagram. There's still gotta be somebody pr putting time and energy and resources and risk. I really admire that about what you guys are doing with the with American Dream. Well, you know, and, and think about that term, the American Dream, a lot of people say it's dead. Right? Yeah. And the moment you stop dreaming, I think, is the moment that you're dead. Tell us what's next for you. So you got a big event coming up, but give us a three, five, ten years. Where, where do you think you go from here? You know, I have a company that I think I can take to $10 billion. I'm, I'm gonna, my goal is to build the biggest real estate company, privately held build, uh, real estate company in the country. So you're still inspired, still hustling. Yeah, still still excited. We just, you know, uh, just released a book. It was the best best release of any book I've ever done by 10 times. Wow. And uh, so we're excited about a lot of stuff. I wanna make the people that either partner with me or work with me to be, you know, to do as well as I'm doing, if that's possible, and, and I think it is. Um, we're well, really inspiring people, yeah. man. As I was driving over here, you know, we're posting, doing, doing yeah. the social media thing too, and I can't tell, tell you how many messages I'm getting from people telling me to thank you. Oh, dude, that's awesome. Man. Yeah, so yeah. I hope uh, yeah. I hope you get that on the day to day. But I just want to share that with you. Yeah. Appreciate you thank having you, us out thank here. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. Okay, we'll take it up right. here next time. Yeah, let's do it. Jason Risley with Maxim Real Estate Group. I've got an awesome remodeled home in the Lake Forest Keys. This one's on the main channel. It's four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms. Uh, it's 2,500 square feet. And I'm gonna take you inside and show you around. One of the great parts of this home is the lake view. And the wow factor is really having an entertainment home where you have an open concept and so everything in this home has been opened up. And so as you walk into the kitchen here, um, the kitchen's been completely remodeled. Everything's been done with city permits, architectural plans, engineering plans, to make sure this kitchen is completely open. And now you can see the lake in the entire home, wherever you are. Now, one thing I wanna focus on is this pantry right here. Um, this used to be a wet bar, but in 2018, a lot of people appreciate the pantry rather than the wet bar, and so that's what was done. Let's go take a look at the upstairs. One of the great things about this home is the master bedroom. There's lots of natural light, and as you can see with these big windows, you've got this panoramic view of the channel. Now, some of these homes on this lake, there's lots of arms and legs to this lake, but some of these homes on the lake have about 60 yards and then another house. This one, you can see all the way down the channel, and you can see where the boat dock is, and, and it's a, a great home. Let me show you the master bathroom. The master bathroom been completely remodeled. Obviously, we've got the subway tiled there and also the big window that overlooks the lake. Uh, it's a gorgeous view, as you can see. Also, we've got dual vanities here, and uh, I'm gonna take you around and show you the walk-in closet. The walk-in closet's here on the right. Obviously, this is bedroom number one. This is the master. There are three additional bedrooms that are upstairs. This one on the left is being used as an officer den, but it is technically a bedroom. We also have a completely remodeled bathroom. 
uh, that's in the hallway. And then we have two additional bedrooms at the end of the house. This last one actually has an ensuite bathroom that's been completely remodeled and is gorgeous to 2018 standards, all the normal upgrades that you see in normal 2018 homes. Now we get to see the best part of the home, uh, which is the lake. And I'm gonna show you why living on the lake is such a great adventure. So my favorite part about this lake is the fact that I can stand up paddleboard, I can take a boat, I can go fishing, I can kayak. Uh, one of my favorite things to do is stand up paddleboard, which I'm gonna do right now. Let's take a look. Hey Tyler, how's it going? I'm back. Can I help with my paddle? Want to help with my paddle? <laughs> hey, Kirsten, high five. Hello, Bee. <laughs> Hi, dear. <laughs> this is my wife, Christy, my son, Tyler, and my daughter, Kirsten, who are four and six, and this is living my American dream. are gonna love what we have in store for you today. We're taking you inside a 13,700 square foot estate property in beautiful Crystal Cove, number 40 Deep Sea. Now this home spans four spacious levels, has six bedrooms, 11 bathrooms, numerous indoor and outdoor amenities, and quite possibly the best view in the entire neighborhood. Let's take a look. I mean, can you imagine splashing around like on a Sunday afternoon? We have a beautiful black bottom infinity edge pool, beautiful decking, tons of patio space, outdoor grill for nighttime barbecues, and then obviously the best ocean view in town, encompassing every single aspect that you'd want. You have harbor, city lights, ocean, golf course, and coastline reaching all the way up to Palos Verdes. It doesn't get much better than this, and it creates an awesome backdrop for this amazing home. So it's the most wonderful time of year, football season, and you need a place to watch the big game. Well, here it is, your own private home movie theater. Inside, we have 12 Italian leather reclining chairs, HD projector, 140 inch screen. I mean, it really is the perfect spot to just kick back and enjoy your favorite team. This home has so many cool elements, but as a wine lover myself, this is probably my favorite, your own private tasting room. We have climate controlled wine walls, your own tasting room, dedicated kitchen, and a 3,000 bottle wine cellar. For a guy like me, it doesn't get much better than this. This is where this house really gets interesting. So we're standing inside an incredibly rare indoor sports court. There's probably less than 10 of these in the entire zip code. It's obviously a perfect place for basketball, racquetball, a dance studio. You could even create an IMAX theater in here. This space can be transformed into whatever your heart desires. This spectacular home at 40 Deep Sea in Crystal Cove is currently being offered for sale. Please contact me, John Kane, for more information. And thank you for stopping by today. We'll see you next time. I love this place. So Balboa Bay Resort, as you know, 
is Newport's only waterfront resort. Right. Is it a private club? Or no, public? but see, that's the thing. It's open to the public, too. Okay. So that's the, that's the cool part. Okay. You don't have to be staying here. You get to watch all these amazing yachts come in and out, and right. great coffee, great place to come for happy hour. Are you going to get iced or hot coffee? No, I'm going to do hot. So I'm excited about our new listing in Newport Heights. I'm super excited about it, and I really think it's a great fit for Dwight and Diane, the bold contemporary look of it. So how soon do you think we should get them over there? I think right away. I am so excited about our new listing at 223 Ocean View here in Newport Heights. So you essentially, you walk in on the second of three floors. Correct. All the bedrooms, the four ensuite bedrooms are on this floor. There is another bedroom downstairs. Mm -hmm. All floors are accessed via the elevator. Oh, very cool. Yeah. It's 4966 square feet. Let's check out the upstairs. Let's go. So now we're going up to the top floor. Where you get the best view. And one of the really cool features about the top floor is the 690 square foot balcony retreat area with pocket doors that open up to about 45 feet. The panoramic views of you have the Newport Harbor, Pacific Ocean, and Catalina on a clear day. You'd be able to capsize on the boat parade at Christmas time. Plenty of room for awesome parties out here. You have a TV yeah. out here. How great is you, this for entertainment? You have a expandable awning. Some of the features I love about this house is the functionality of the kitchen. I love the neolith countertops and the water flop down the side. I love the wine fridge that stores 40 bottles, the ice maker, and then of course the sub-zero refrigerator. All in stainless steel, keeping in line with the very modern look at the house. And one of my favorite features are these awesome Euro style cabinets. And for the gourmet chefs out there, this beautiful wolf stove. You have to check out this master bathroom suite. Wow, I love it. I love this vanity right here. Every woman would love to have this kind of light to put their makeup on. Well, you have this incredible Neolith shower, but the best part of all is this bathtub. Wow. Another amazing feature is this downstairs media room. This is my favorite room in the house. I love this place. You have this awesome ping pong table. It's great for kids. It is great for kids. It has an awesome TV to play video games on, just to hang out, be away from the adults upstairs. It's got an ensuite bedroom. Easy access right here to the outdoors. Wow, another gorgeous day in Newport Beach. Such a cool house. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. We could take a nap out here. We got a house to sell. So that's all for today's episode of The American Dream. Look, The American Dream is about overcoming adversity or dreaming big. Hope you enjoyed today's show, always combating negative media. Don't forget you can follow us on social media. See you next week.